What up, YouTube? Tech is Mason here, and in this video, I'm playing some Black Ops 2. I'm playing some Domination in this video. This is Nuketown, and yeah, I did I did a pretty good job since I had a broken controller, and I really wasn't on my account. If you see, when I get kills, I didn't have my account, so I didn't have my custom class. I didn't have C4. I really didn't have anything that I usually use when I play, so it was kind of difficult for me to play. I couldn't sprint, couldn't do all that, but I'm gonna stop complaining. I still kind of did a good job, and you'll see that in the video. But today, I just want to talk about my opinions on Call of Duty Ghost and everything that's happening with the the new Call of Duty. So Call of Duty Ghost, it came out and it came out, but they didn't announce the multiplayer. And then me myself, I don't usually play. Um, campaign mode on Call of Duty games because it's just not that fun to me. The reason I get Call of Duty games is to play online. I don't know if they call me something because I just play online because of that, but yeah, I just play online. As you can see, my controller failed just right there and I got killed because of the fail. But yeah, it came out and then I really wasn't interested. But then when I saw the multiplayer reveal, I was like, oh my gosh, this game is awesome. They have a whole lot of cool things that's on there that they added that I like. They have a new gameplay, which is Crank, and I really like that gameplay because it's very fast-paced and there shouldn't be any campers on that gameplay. And now, there was campers in this gameplay, or I think it's the next gameplay. But yeah, it was some campers, and that just really irritated me. And then I thought about playing Crank on Call of Duty Ghost, and I was like, wow, it's going to be awesome playing cranked because you have 30 seconds to get a new kill so you shouldn't be camping it's going to be a really fast paced game which is what I really enjoy playing fast paced games and yeah I don't like slow paced games and yeah look at that kill look at that I just no scope though <laughs> anyway yeah but yeah I'm ready for it I'm ready to play they have so many cool things they have an another game mode that I'm really interested in infected and now I play infected on MW3 with my friends and that game was it was awesome to play because it was like a party game I enjoy playing party games online and as you can see I captured a B flag by myself like a beast no help but yeah we will play MW3 infected but now that I see that they added to Call of Duty Ghost they might have made some huge improvements to it like some things like where on MW3 everyone would be camping trying to get a Moab on infected that's what my friends would do try and get a Moab on infected and they'll camp all day and then the one person that's infected, he'll be infected the whole match and he'll just be boring. But yeah, I'll, I'll like what I can say, like, they either like start more than one person being infected or something like they give the, the person that starts off infected a juggernaut or something like that. But yeah, I agree with White Boy 7 Street, he said the same thing. And yeah, that would be cool to make it more fair for the person who gets infected because basically if you got infected on MW3, yeah, you were kind of messed up because you didn't have any gun, you didn't have anything, and you just had to do your best. But yeah, I'm ready for Call of Duty Ghost. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. If you haven't checked out my channel, Take is Mason, I reached 7,000 subscribers, so I'm going to be giving away a copy of Call of Duty Ghost. And yeah, I think this is going to be the video that you guys are supposed to leave your comments on. But I'm not sure. It's probably going to be the next video after this. So yeah, you'll see it. The video that gets posted on Monday, that's the video that you're going to see. So yeah, this is what you're going to post on, but the video will post on Monday. You guys will have a chance to win a copy of Call of Duty Ghost. If you subscribe to my gaming channel, you're hearing this early. But yeah, Call of Duty Ghost is, is a cool game. Most of my friends, they, they, they don't like it. I don't know why. It's like, they don't understand how good Call of Duty Ghost is. They think that they, my friend Marcevian, he doesn't really like Call of Duty Ghosts because he he thinks it's going to be campers and he thinks that it's going to be lag switchers and all that modders. That's why he doesn't like it, but that's not really going to happen. Come on now. It happens in every game. He says he's going to play Halo 4 like it doesn't happen in there with campers and all that in Halo 4. But yeah, I'm going to be getting it for PS4. If you guys want to play with me, I will play with you. But yeah, because you guys say I suck at the games that I play since I be playing PC. It's just my controller is messed up in this video. It's not even my controller. It's my brother-in-law's controller. But yeah, the button is messed up. The L1 button is messed up. But it was working fine in this video. But the, the button where you run, the left joystick is messed up. So you can barely, you can't sprint at all. But yeah, the first round is over. Here's the second round. 
actually had to go back in theater mode to record this because I was actually doing another video while I was in this gameplay. And yeah, I secure C by myself. Well, not by myself, but you know. C is the, the basic one. I was going to go for B first, but I was like, nah, let me just get these extra points. And it was kind of good because when I came over here, I got an assist, which I really thought I got a kill, but someone stole both of my kills. So I got two assists, which was crazy. And then this dude right here was AFK or AFC. I don't know why they call it AFK when it's away from controller. But yeah, and then I, I kept getting stuck behind him. But yeah, I got a, a kill with my Bouncing Betty, which I never use Bouncing Betty. See, I got stuck again. I never use Bouncing Betty. I always use C4. And that kill would have been much better if I had my C4. And I would have got, I had more opportunities to get a kill if I had a C4. But I had Bouncing Betty, so I couldn't get my kills since I'm not on my profile on this account. But the profile I'm on is EBZ. And um, EBZ is the person providing the gameplay. Well, I'm actually playing, I'm just on his game and using his game capture. So, shout out to him. His link will be in the description. You're going to want to subscribe to his channel. He does gameplay videos too. He just started. So, go and support him. He's awesome for letting me do some gameplay videos on his capture. But yeah, I was doing a good job in this gameplay. Also, in the next gameplay you'll see on Monday, I did a good job as well. I was playing some Hardpoint. I love playing Hardpoint. That's my favorite gameplay on Black Ops 2 now that I think about it because usually you'll have to walk around you can barely find anyone when you're playing and everyone will camp and do all that but <clears throat> as you can see I got my sentry gun yeah I was proud I was proud I ain't no lie but now nah, I like hard point because everyone is trying to go to the hard point so once you're there you know that for a fact that people are going to be there because not everybody just loves to camp some people play for the objective which is what I like to do so once you get to the hard point, as you can see, that's the dude that just killed me and I got my revenge back on him. And it was double XP weekend, I guess. As you can see, I'm getting double XP, which is why they had Nuketown only, the Nuketown only playlist on the multiplayer. And I was pretty proud, pretty happy to play this because I love playing in Nuketown. It's my favorite place to play. And yeah, I was going to play with a shotgun, but like I said, the controller's messed up, so I wasn't going to get that many kills with it. And I just will get murked. Like what just happened just then? If I had my normal controller, both of those dudes would have been been dead. But yeah, I still did did a good job. I guess I didn't go negative. And then a random grenade kills me. But yeah, Call of Duty Ghost. I'm gonna be pre-ordering it soon. I'm gonna pre-order it for my PS4. And I'm not having even pre-order my PS4 because I'm not sure when pre-orders will go back available. I've been checking Amazon. I've been checking Walmart and everything. They have not been available. But yeah, I'm ready to play some Call of Duty Ghost. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and play with some other YouTubers on YouTube to play because I wanna be able to play with some other YouTubers because that'll be a good way to promote both of our channels together and stuff like that. But I think Call of Duty Ghost comes out November 5th, 10 days before the PS4 comes out. So some people might say that you can, while well, you wanna get it on the first day, but if you get it on your old system like a PS3 and you think you'll have to buy another one. No, GameStop has a deal where you can buy it on your PS3 and play it for the first 10 days and then when the PS4 comes out all you have to do is take your game back up to GameStop and you have to give them $10 and they'll trade you in for a PS4 version of that. As you can see I captured a C flag like a boss, like a boss and yeah I got killed from the back but I still captured it by myself and yeah the match is coming to an end as you can see, the the kid on the right right of me stole my kill with this target finder. I think the 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 kill count may show, but it's not. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I show my score, see, show you how good I did. But if you didn't, if you enjoyed this video, hope you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down below. As you can see, I went 27 to 25, five captures and six defense. I was being a beast. And I'll see you later, baby. See ya.